Hello YouTube. Today's video is about bicep peaks. I'll go through what bicep peaks are and how you can grow them. So let's get started. Most people can't grow their biceps because the, the biggest problem is that they ego lift. Okay, they lift weight that is way too heavier. Just take a look at this bicep here. It's a relatively small muscle. It's it's not directly connected to any other body part which can support it like you you'll just look at your back your shoulders support your back when you're pulling it so it's okay to do heavy weight and your <clears throat> and take a look at your chest also it's being directly supported by your sh shoulders and your back so it's okay to do heavy weight with your chest too but your biceps no unfortunately no it's Directly supported by forearms, but they don't play a much big factor. Much bigger factor, okay. Uh, so now let's get to the part where I explain you what bicep peaks are. I won't go into uh, I won't go into a lot lot of detailed anatomy. I'll just give you a basic idea. Here, take a look. This is a bicep. This is the short head over here. It goes from here this round area till this area okay sorry it's i don't have a lot of cuts and all for us please excuse the body fat so it goes from here to here this area this entire area is the short head it's responsible for your overall width of the arm if you just look at it from here now bicep peak is this part this portion right here you see this it pops out it goes from here to here so the bicep is divided in two parts one is for a peaks from this to this and second is the short head from here to here now there's also a third part which also contributes to the width of the bicep that is this little portion here it's directly connected to your brachialis this forearm so we'll get to that in a different video so as I mentioned before, the biceps are a really small muscle group. Most people, they train, they try and train with heavy weights, weights they cannot handle. And instead of training their biceps, they end up, they end up like lifting it. Fuck. See, heavy weights are not going to give you any direct gains. Okay, that's just leave that to the professionals. What's basically going to happen is you lift heavy, you lean back and your back is taking all the load. Your biceps, just take a look how it really looks like. Lift here. This is, the, this is how it looks like with light weight. Now you lean back and here. See, your biceps aren't doing any work. Everything's being done by your back. See that? Nothing. So the bottom line is your biceps will respond best to light weights, weights that you can handle for 10 to 12 reps. Okay. Now, now I'm now I'm going to show you one of one of the very best bicep peak exercises. It's quite underrated. Not many people do it. I learned it from Arnold Schwarzenegger, and I do it. In every, in every one of fuck, I do this bicep exercise in every workout. So let's get started. So this is the exercise that I was talking about. It's called the standing concentration curl. This one also has a seated variation. I don't do that because in standing the in the standing variation, I feel a much better contraction in my biceps as compared to the seated variation i do this for 10 to 12 reps and about five to six sets and as you can see here you can cheat a little bit just a little bit towards the towards your final two reps but do, don't do this at every rep okay it's not cool as you can see here my biceps are fully pumped up the peaks are clearly popping out I mean, just look at them. This is why I consider this exercise to be one of the best bicep peak builders. 
थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग माई वीडियो प्लीज लाइक दिस वीडियो एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल इट्स नाइट हेयर एंड आई एम फीलिंग वेरी स्लीपी सो आई गो स्लीप नाउ थैंक यू अगेन फॉर वॉचिंग एंड गुड नाइट